Stan Warinka highlights the toughest factor of his injury struggles. Stan Warinka admitted the past year has been a real struggle as he continues his comeback from a knee injury. The Swiss played his best match of 2018 on Monday, thumping Britain's Cameron Norrie 6 2 6 3 at the Queen's Club, and admitted he was feeling far better physically. However, as Novak Djokovic explained in his pre tournament press conference, Warinka highlighted the mental pitfalls of a lengthy injury absence. I know when I got the surgery that it will be really long and really tough, not only physically but especially mentally, he said after beating Nori. I said many times, you know, for the first month, for me. First you have to separate every injury, because we don't have to deal with the same problem and the same things physically or mentally. So we are all different in the way to come back. That's the first thing you have to look. And for me it was really tough, because I had to start from zero physically. When I say it's tough, it's not only about the physical aspect, because we are used to practice, we are used to do the hard work. We are used to put a lot of time in the gym and on the fitness and the tennis court. But mentally, it's tough when you see how far you are and how long it will take. Still now, it's not easy mentally. I need to be really patient with myself, to accept less in a way, because when you win Grand Slam and especially me, I always expect so much from myself and always push myself to the maximum and never really happy with what I'm doing, so when you be out on the tour so long, you need to a little bit put your expectation a little bit lower and accept that, because it takes time. It takes time to get where you want to be and not because you're doing the wrong thing but just because it is how it is when you have big surgery. So I think I'm getting better now, because I also see that my level is getting better. I improved a lot physically and I am getting closer at least in the practice court. But I know that the next few months will not be that easy, either. So I just need to take every match, every win as something really positive and keep doing the right job every day to give myself chance to come back quickly to the top level. The Swiss faces a testing second round encounter with big serving American Sam Curry on Wednesday. Curry, who beat Andy Murray in his last competitive match nearly a year ago, eased beyond British wild card Jay Clark 6363 and will provide stiff competition for the three-time Grand Slam champion. Marin Silic explains what it will take to stop Roger Federer at Wimbledon when is Andy Murray playing at Queen's? Order of play for Tuesday's tennis Nick Kyrgios gives verdict on Roger Federer ahead of Wimbledon.